I'm Tim, and I've been attending Crossroads for about a decade. I am Chrissy, and I've been tending, attending for eight and a half. In 2019, my job had become very stressful. I was burned out. I had been doing it for about 13 and a half years, and I was tired. And um, I was looking for something different. I began to pray for other opportunities, and it just felt like that nothing was coming. And from that point, I ended up praying for about probably two and a half years constantly for some type of change in my employment. I can remember people would reach out to me and, and ask periodically, how can I pray for you? And that was always my go-to, pray over my job. After a while, after not hearing anything from the Lord, I, um, I decided that I was going to come up with a plan on my own. Was going to uh, save up some money, go to uh, go to a truck driving school after paying off some bills, and um, and so I, I started down that route. And uh, lo and behold, the truck driving school that I wanted to get into was was booked up. Now this was probably um, June, July of 22, and the school was booked up until March of 23. We get into August, I believe it was. Yeah. August, uh, late August, I took a vacation. And during that vacation, I remembered the, um, the scripture in Matthew where Jesus is talking to his disciples. And he says that, uh, that this, this kind only leaves through prayer and fasting. And that was, I remember that that, that was very vivid in my mind because I hadn't fasted. Um, I had only prayed, and so at that point I, I thought, "Wow, well, give it a shot." <laughs> and uh, and so I didn't I didn't say anything to anybody because I know that um, I think it's in Matthew six where he talks about you know do that secretly. About halfway through the second day, I began to get these thoughts that came into my mind. Um, and those thoughts just wouldn't go away. And it didn't make any sense to me because those thoughts didn't line up with the plan that I had already put together that I was gonna follow. And, and the first step was go take your DOT physical. And I argued with that because it didn't make any sense to me. But I, you know, reluctantly I went ahead and, and I did and I passed. And then as soon as I passed that, the thought came into mind. I mean, just as soon as I passed that test, go take your learner's exam at, at, the, at the driver services. So I go and I take, the, take my learner's exam, pass everything. And so I'm like, I get back to the house, I'm sitting there and I'm like, now what do I do? And that thought comes again. And that thought says, you know, I had filled out this, you know, this mini application on, on line that goes out to multiple truck, trucking companies. And, and this one particular company kept emailing me every single day, and, and I knew that my, I wasn't going to go to school until March, so I just kept, you know, deleting the email. Uh, but that voice that day said, call this number, call that lady that's been emailing you. And so I sat there for a while, thought about it, and, and finally got the nerve up to, to call her. And I told her my, my work history, and so she instructed me to fill out the, the application, and uh, that she would be back, or if I didn't hear back from her within you know 24 hours to, to call back. And um, she got back in touch with me. And, and when she did, she said that everything was good to go, that I was invited to come to their company's orientation and go through their training school. And as long as I would sign a year contract with them, that they would cover the schooling. And I would just work it off in return. And so here I am at this point, all of this has taken place and, and for, for all of this time that I had prayed and heard nothing, here I am with all of these answers and none of it is, is the way I planned it. You know, fast forward, I ended up going to, uh, going to, to school through this company. And um, I think fasting and obedience like you've got to do both. You can't do just one. You've got to fast. 
And then when he gives you that word, you have to be obedient to it. Because I was fighting it. I, I, did, I didn't, it, it didn't make any sense to me. I didn't want to go and take my DOT physical. Why, God? Why am I, why are you asking me to do that? I've got my plan over here. And he's very strategic it, it, when he it, plans yes. stuff. It, it, and if you go off kilter of what he planned, yeah, forget it. So, you know, uh, just being obedient and, and answering that little whisper and that fast. I'm convinced you'll never convince me otherwise that that fast was not the key that opened every single door I went through that had been locked prior.